In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a histogram in Microsoft Excel using the data analysis add-in. So you can see here we have our data. I have 1,470 rows representing observations about employees at a fictional company. And I'm interested in looking at the distribution of values in this monthly income column. Now you can also notice I'm, I have a value selected here in the middle of my data set. And the table tools design tab is available, which means that I've formatted this data as a table. And if I select the design tab, you can see that I've named that table data. So to begin doing this, the first thing I need to do is open up a new spreadsheet where I can do some work. And I'm going to need to figure out a few values before I start. So I'm going to need to know the minimum value of my data set, the maximum value, the number of bins that I want, and the interval which each bin should span. To get the minimum value, I'm simply going to type equals min and use tab to open up that function. And now I'm going to specify the data that I'm interested in by typing the table name. You can see that it comes up. And then I'll use square brackets to reference the column name. And so I'll begin typing in monthly income. And you can see that it comes up. And I'll use tab to select it. Close square brackets. Close parentheses. To finish the function, use enter. And there's my minimum value. Now I can do the same thing to get my max value. So again, data. Monthly income. And there we go. I would like 10 bins for this histogram, and my interval will be the maximum value minus the minimum value divided by the number of bins. And now, in order to finish this, I need to specify the bins. I need to know what the upper limits are of those bins, and then I'll be good to go. So I'm going to number my bins 1 through 9. Now, as I said, and as I specified right here, I want 10 bins. So you might be asking yourself, why am I only specifying 9 bins here? And the reason for that is that an interesting quirk of the data analysis add-in is that when you use the histogram feature in that package, what you end up with is it will bin your values as you specify here, but then it will always add another bin above those to capture any additional ones that are floating above it. So if you just want 10 bins, you have to specify 9. If you want 5 bins, you have to specify 4. If you want 20 bins, you have to specify 19. So I want 10, so I'm only going to specify 9. And now I need to know what the upper what the upper limit is of each of these bins. So for the first one, obviously, it should just equal my minimum value plus my interval. And for the subsequent ones, it should equal the upper limit of the previous bin plus this interval. And I'm going to make a fixed cell reference here so that I can drag my formula down. So I'm going to select the cell reference up here in the formula bar. And I'm going to use function F4 to make it a fixed cell reference. You can see that it is now because it has these dollar signs next to both the column and the row. And now I can simply double click on my fill handle here to fill in the remainder of my values. And again, notice the upper limit of this final bin that I specified is not equal to my max. So anything between this and this here will be captured automatically by the data analysis tool. All right, so now I'm ready to create my histogram. So I'm going to come up here to the data tab, select data analysis under the analyze group. I'm going to select histogram, OK. And I'm going to select my input range or my actual data by typing in data, square brackets, monthly income. For my bin range, I need these upper limit values here. I don't have any values because I didn't select the column header here. Uh, so all I want really is I want this to go to a new worksheet and I want just the chart output. Now if you want a cumulative percentage curve or a the histogram to be sorted like a Pareto chart, you can select those options here and you'll get that. But I'm just interested in, in the histogram by itself. So I'm going to come up and select OK. Expand this a little bit. And here's our histogram. So a couple quick styling choices I can make here. Under the chart tools, I can click the design tab and under the chart layouts group, under add chart element, I can get rid of the axes value labels. Those aren't typically shown on a histogram. And I'm also going to get rid of the legend here because this adds no value. So under legend, I'm simply going to select none. And now I would like these columns to be a little wider. So I'm going to right click on one, go to format data series. And in the dialog that opens here, I'm going to type 3% and tab out. 
and now I have a good looking histogram. If you like what you see, feel free to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And until next time, happy learning.